In an earlier video, we talked about Internet Explorer 10, uh, basic navigational functions. Uh, today, we're going to talk a little bit more about Internet Explorer 10, but about some of the more advanced functions, including some that are just more hidden. So let's go ahead and launch Internet Explorer. This is the Windows 8 application version. No toolbars, no nothing here, just your regular interface. So how do you do certain things here? Well, let's first talk about some of the common controls and common uh, keystrokes that you may be able to take advantage of in order to use uh, Internet Explorer 10. Uh, first, let's talk about printing. One of the first uh, things you may want to do is when you go to a web page, you may be looking at instructions on how to do something or maybe a recipe. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit the Control P, and you'll see that it brings up the print function within Internet, excuse me, within Windows 8. And it knows that we're in Internet Explorer, so it brings up those options under print. We're going to print this to the uh, our printer, so we're going to click there, and depending upon your printer, you'll see different kinds of options here. The number of copies, portrait or landscape, the color mode, if you want to change that. You can also click on more settings, and again, depending upon your printer, you may have different options about printing on two different size and things like that. The quality, plain paper, you may want to go to a draft quality to save yourself some ink, you know, all those different kinds of things. You want instead of color, you may want to do that as well. So all that. The one thing we haven't figured out in this version is that how to print uh, only one page. Uh, this is one of 19. There is no button here that says current page only and all that. So we're just going to close that. Normally you would just cl clip here and print and it would go off and do its happy printing. Of course it would do all 19 pages. Uh, what we did is we went ahead and spawned the print job and then we went to the printer uh, uh, queue and, and canceled that. But uh, let's just talk about uh, some of the other things first. Uh, some of the other things you want want to do is let's say you want to capture everything that's on the page, all the text that's on the page. You're again at an instruction place, and you don't want to print it. You just want to save it in a file. So you want to do Control A. It selects everything on the page. This normal Windows function of Control A is select all, whether you're in Word or Excel or here or wherever you're at. Control A selects everything, and then Control C to copy to your buffer. So what does that do for you? Well, let's go back over here. Let's launch a notepad, for example, and I'm going to right-click and say paste. And there's all the text from the thing. No images because because notepad doesn't support images. But there's all the text from there. And you can save this as a file or do whatever you want. But that's the uh, that's basically the Control A and Control C function. Control V paste it or uh, right-click and paste. Uh, some of the other things it does is if you want to find something on a particular page, your usual Control F function works and it brings up the find function down at the bottom. You type in, for example, electric for, and it highlights there on the page. You'll see it down here in the corner. It highlights the electric. Uh, there is no nothing else on the page, so there's only that one there. Uh, we'll close and get out of that function there. Uh, the next thing is that uh, you may want to go to your one of the things we talked about in the last video, if you right click off to the side, you'll bring up uh, some of these. You click down there and you'll see your pinned favorites. You can do the same function by pressing the F4 or the Control L key, and it'll go immediately to your pinned frequency or favorites, and you can select any one of these you want to go to. Uh, so that allows you to use those just with the keystroke. Uh, the F5 is the usual F5. It refreshes your page. So if you press F5, uh, you may not see the results, but it does refresh your page here. Um, another strange command is Control W. Now, if, you, if you're here in Control W, it basically it's a, I guess it means window, but it'll blank whatever you have on screen and bring up a completely blank Internet Explorer. So here we are. It clears everything. Uh, nothing there uh, in Internet Explorer. It's a new page for you to start uh, doing whatever you want. You click down here, you can go to one of those. Uh, it did not open up a new window, it overwrote the window. So that's very important. So let's go back to MSN for a second. And now you can you can use Control K and bring up a new window. It brings up a copy of the, if you look up here, you'll see that we have two exactly the same. Well, it's more importantly that it's down here. You click down here, you can go to one of your old uh, old different old uh, places like for example uh, the sports section and now you have two windows open one for MSN and one for that so that was control K uh, let's close that window and let's go back to the main MSN window 
you also have other uh, normal things like control and your mouse feet wheel will do your zooming for you. You can zoom in, zoom back out again by scrolling up or scrolling down. That's a normal zoom function. Of course, scroll up and down, usual. Uh, Windows Z or your right click is the same function. That's another keystroke. Windows K brings up devices, which includes your printer, but it has other devices. So if you have a second screen you want to go ahead and go to that function, you can do that. Uh, Windows H key brings up your sharing, so which shares you can go to the mail program. Again, this is set up for the built-in mail or to your people, so you can send a link to your people uh, hub, uh, things like that. Uh, the uh, Windows Q brings up your search, which is your Internet Explorer. Uh, right now it's on Internet Explorer. It's not doing your app search, which we talked about in our video just about search, but now it knows we're in Internet Explorer. So we're right there. Uh, the usual things, page up, page down, page down, page up, scrolls up and down for Internet Explorer. And of course, your end key goes to the bottom, your home key goes to the top, uh, your uh, page, your left and right, your arrow keys do it a little bit at a time instead of pages at a time. Of course, if it was a wider page, you'd use your left and right keys as well. So uh, those are some of the functions to use the uh, tile version of Internet Explorer. One more thing though, let's say you've tried all this and you still don't like this version of Internet Explorer. Well, we have a good solution for you, at least well, Windows has a good solution for you. So we're going to go to the desktop and we're going to launch this version of Internet Explorer here. And you'll see that this has the tabbed interfaces. Let me open this up a little bit. This has all the tabbed interfaces. You can click on a new tab here, do all that things. It has your home, your history, it has uh, your settings. So let's go to that settings. Click there and go to Internet Options. And if you skip all this stuff here, you go over here to Programs, you'll notice that the first thing says Opening Internet Explorer. Choose how you open links. Let it decide Always an Internet Explorer, that's the tile version, or only Internet Explorer on the desktop. You can also click here to say Open Internet Explorer Tiles on the desktop and say OK. Now, let's do that. Let's close this down so we have nothing running here. We go back here. When we click on Internet Explorer, it no longer opens up in the other interface. You're now sitting here on your desktop version of Internet Explorer with all the things you're used to seeing in Internet Explorer 9 and previous, the tab browsing and all that. So uh, if you just want to just sort of give up on the other one and you want to go back to your old familiar ways, this is what you do it. So basically this is the advanced tutorial for uh, Internet Explorer 10 uh, for Windows 8.